Hello everybody, welcome to the second lecture for mathematics of grade 11. So we're going to start from chapter 5, section 3, which is about operations with functions. So what we are going to do in this video is to make to do some operations with functions. We are going to add them, subtract them, multiply them, divide them, and possibly compose them. So let's see how we can perform those operations. I will We'll explain all of these operations with a bunch of examples. So let's say you have two functions, f and g. So let's suppose we are given two functions, f and g. We can add these two functions. And the rule for adding these two functions is given by this. f plus g on a particular number like x is given by f of x plus g of x. So this plus operation is operation between two functions. And this plus operation here is the addition in real numbers. Much in the same way, we can do subtractions. f minus g of x on the uh, value of x is defined to be f of x minus g of x. Uh, we can easily multiply them. f dot or times g of x. So this operation a product here is the product of two functions and the operation here is the product of two real numbers so f times g of x equals f of x times g of x and we can also divide them f divided by g is given by this f of x divided by g of x so just uh, you need to be careful here for the division part that this is defined whenever g of x is not equal to zero because we cannot divide by zero Let's see some examples. Suppose f of x is given by, so examples. Example. Let f of x be 2x squared plus 4x minus 6 and g of x to be given by the rule of 2x minus 2. Okay, so let these two uh, functions be given by this. Now what we're going to do here is to perform all of these operations on these two functions. So find f plus g, f minus g, f times g, and f divided by g. Okay, so let's do the first one. f plus g on the value x equals f of x plus g of x equals. So all you have to do here is to just add the rule of f to the rule of g. 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. So this is f. And now plus g, which is 2x minus 2. And then here you can simplify. You can combine the like terms over here. So 2x squared, 4x and 2x will give us 6x. Negative 6 minus 2 will be negative 8. And that's it. That That's f plus g. Let's do f minus g. Again, according to the rule, here we just we should just subtract g from f so it's f of x minus g of x equals so f of x is 2x squared plus 4x minus 6 so this function minus g which is 2x minus 2 and now we have to do the operation here from the first one, first bracket remains 2x squared. And then here, I, I will have negative 2x. 
So we'll have negative 2x here if you distribute this minus into the bracket, negative 2x. But then over here I have 4x. So 4x minus 2x will give me uh, 2x. So plus 2x. And then again, right over here, I have minus times negative 2 becomes positive 2. And then I have a negative 6 here. Negative 6 plus 2 will be negative 4. And that's it. This is the operation of f minus g. Let's multiply them. So I need to multiply the rule of f by the rule of g, which is 2x squared plus 4x minus 6 times 2x minus 2. And now for this one, you need to distribute and then simplify. So I'm going to FOIL this. 2x times 2x squared will be 4x cubed. 2x times 4x will be 8x squared. And then minus 12x. And now multiply the negative 2 inside the first bracket. Will be negative 4 x squared minus 8x plus 12. And now we can combine the like terms. Equals 4x cubed. Now here I have 8x squared and here I have negative 4x squared which will give me plus 4x squared. Negative 12x minus 8x becomes negative 20x. And then I have a 12, which is sitting alone here. And that's it. That's f times g. And finally, let's divide them. So f divided by g is given by f of x over g of x, which is equal to, so f is 2x squared plus 4x minus 6 over 2x minus 2. And that's it. That's the function f over g. If it is possible, we can make this more simple. Otherwise, you can leave your answer in this form. So that's it. These are the operations with uh, functions, adding, subtracting, dividing, and uh, multiplying. Before we explore the last operation, which is composition, I just want to say a quick note on the domain of these functions. To find the domain of uh, the addition of two functions, or the subtraction, or multiplication, we can just easily find the domains of f and g separately and then take the intersection. So, for example, I'll show you one example for, for example, adding two functions. So let's say, let me open a box over here. So let's say f of x is given by x squared plus 1 and g of x is given, let's say f of x is x squared plus 1 over x minus 1 and then g of x is given by root x. What I'm going to do here is to find domain of f plus g. So how can I find domain of f plus g? So what is domain of f? What is domain of f? Domain of f equals, well, as you see here in the denominator, you have x minus 1. So the denominator becomes 0 for x equals 1. So, that, so, so 1 is not allowed in this function. So the domain of this function will be all the real numbers except 1. What is domain of g? Domain of g, since g is a radical function, 
So under the square root must be positive. So domain of G consists of all the positive number, including 0. So 0 to plus infinity. So that's the domain of G. Now, what is the intersection of these two domains? That is the domain of F plus G. And in particular, domain of F minus G and also F times G. So that becomes the intersection of domain of F and domain of G. So what is that? It's all the positive numbers, including 0, but not 1. So it goes like this, from 0 to 1, and then from 1 to infinity. And that is the domain of F plus G. next operation that we have, and probably the most important one, is the composition of two functions. So let's see. Let's say you have two functions, f and g. So you have two functions, f and g. Composition of f and g is given by f composed with g of x. And the rule of this is f of g of x. So what does that say? It means you have to replace the rule of g in for x of f okay so uh, replace wh wh wherever you see x in the rule of f replace it by g of x okay for example uh, it all become it, it all makes sense in one one uh, example example Let's say f of x is given by x squared plus x, and g of x is given by, let's say, I don't know, x minus 1. All right, so you have two functions. f is given by this particular uh, rule, and g of x is given by the x minus 1. So find f composed with g okay so now remember I need to replace x by g of x so it's f of g of x equals so as you see here in the rule of f I have an x here and another x here so I need to replace them by the whole g so it becomes g of x squared plus g of x, which is x minus 1 squared plus x minus 1. Look, I just replaced the x in the rule of f by g of x. And now you can simplify this. In the first bracket, we can expand x squared by using one of the identities, minus 2x plus 1, and then plus x minus 1. Okay, and that is equal to x squared, negative 2x plus x will be minus x, and 1 minus 1 becomes 0. And that's it, that's f composed with g. Notice here that we can easily go the other way around. We can compose g and f in the other direction. So, notice that. Okay, so now let's do g o f. g o f of x. So now in this time, we need to replace f of x in the rule of g. So, g of x is x minus 1. It's x minus 1. So I need to replace this x by the whole f. So let's see how it goes. x squared plus x. This is for re uh, re replacing x by f of x. And then minus 1. So it's x squared plus x minus 1. Notice here that f composed with g and g composed with f are two different functions. They're not necessarily the same. 